Hello and welcome to my short tutorial on section breaks. Section breaks are inserted into a document when you require to uh, apply completely different formatting onto maybe a section of your document. For example, different headers, different footers, um, columns, different margins on pages, maybe a different layout, maybe landscape in the middle of a portrait document and so on. By assigning section breaks, you're really tricking the document into thinking it's a completely different document with a document and this is the way that it would behave. So I'm going to click my cursor up here at the very top and I'm going to start first of all by clicking on the show hide command here on the home, uh, the home ribbon in the paragraph group. And this is, I'm putting this on just simply so that you can see as I put in the section breaks you can see where they're inserted into the document. So that's my first step. Now to put in a section break I want to go to page layout click on breaks and click on continuous just below section breaks here not page breaks but down here to section breaks and click on continuous so now you can see section break I'm going to scroll down to the end of the piece on Ireland click after the last word that I have typed and again I'm going to put in breaks continuous put in a continuous section break I'm now going to scroll down again and click after the very last word that I typed on England and put in another section break. So I go again to breaks on the page setup group and select the continuous command under the page, under the section breaks. And again, then under Germany, I'm going to click here. I'm going to select breaks and continuous again. So at this point now, I want to go back up. I have all my section breaks in and I'm going to go back up again. So this is at the point now where I would like to put in my different headers. For those of you that know about headers and footers, a header and a footer are pieces of text that will be repeated on every single page automatically throughout your document. And, and sometimes this is good and sometimes this is a bad thing. In this case, it's not going to work for me since I want three different headings. So I'm going to put them in now. So I go first of all to my insert tab on the ribbon, select the header command in the header and footer group and select the very first option here. So as you can see, it opens up the header area now. So I'm going to type in text called Ireland. Now at this point, I'll just draw your attention to the navigation group here. And I want to go to next section. So I click on next section. Ireland is fine. It says link to the previous. That's fine. So next section. Ireland link to the previous so I say don't link to the previous I'm going to take that out and put in England and then I say next section again it's telling me to link it to the previous but since this one is by Germany I don't want to link that to the England one so I take that out and I put in Germany And I go to next section, Germany, next section, and so on. So now if I go to the previous sections, you can see it says England, Ireland, Ireland. So this is how you can put in, and let me just double click here on the main area text again. So now as you can see, I have got a header for Ireland on all the pages related to Ireland, simply because of the section break. I then have a different header saying England on all my England pages where I put in my section breaks and again I have a third header saying Germany on all my German pages because of the section breaks. So thank you for watching this short video on section breaks and I hope it has helped you.